Um, I'm really pleased um, where we are sort of 18 months, as you say, out. Um, I mean, if you look at the world rankings at present, she ranks one in the 800 and uh, two in the 400. And I think, uh, you know, she, she's European champion on 400, she's Commonwealth champion on 400 and 800. Um, so that's pretty good two years out. But the, the most pleasing thing is the world ranking because statistically, um, if you can keep in the top three or four in the world rankings, particularly, um, you know, in the 12 months before the Olympic Games, generally speaking, that's where the medals go. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's totally life-changing experience after Beijing, and um, particularly for Rebecca, but also, I suppose, for me. I don't think any, certainly no swimming coach in Britain has ever had to deal with that situation. You know, most people win an Olympic gold medal and retire, whereas Rebecca won two at 19 and, and obviously is very focused on 2012. So it's been a learning experience um, for both of us and it, it, I'll be honest, it's not been an easy um, passage at time, but I think we've got through the worst of it. Um, she's got a very good management team, um, she's got a very good agent, they, they look after her, they make sure that she can do um, all the commitments for swimming and uh, the commitments for sponsors and that are, are, are kept in check. And I work very closely with them and with Rebecca to make sure that a life is as normal as possible really. And that's what we try and do. It's very, um, it's very much back to basics, back to a normal life and do what we need to do which is to train for them. I think my main message will just be on coaching, and, and I, you know, obviously I coach within swimming, but I've, I've seen a lot of coaches in a lot of sports, I've been to a lot of major games, and I think, you know, coaches should interact more. I think certainly in swimming there are lots of things that swimming coaches do which would be useful for old coaches, and, and obviously vice versa. So I think the main thing I'll try and put across um, next week is, look, these are some real strengths of swimming coaching. These are some things that we do that I think other sports coaches might want to think, well, that's a good idea. We can use that. We can benefit from that. And, um, and that's the main message I'll sell, really. It, if you look at the, the top swimming nations, you know, the Americans are still the top swimming nation. They're very powerful. And, and the, you know, there, there are definite reasons for that. They have definite advantages. It's not just population. Um, the Australians are very strong, but I think what British swimming has done in the last six, seven, eight years is to close that gap. And we have quite a few swimmers now who are very competitive in world terms. Um, obviously, Rebecca was the first one to break through, but I think the message there was, look, if Rebecca can do it, we can do it. And, you know, we've got some very excited swimmers, people like Fran Hassel, people like Liam Tanko, Gemma Spoffel. I, I could go on, who are world-ranked big hitters, and I think will be a real force in London in 2012.